Oh my goodness, something so cool just happened. So I was, I was leaving church. My orange gas light came on, like my, my car is about to be empty. And so I went to the gas station and it's like $1.60 a liter. So uh, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna put gas in at this price. And we had fellowship Sunday at church. And so, um, you know, everybody brings, it's like potluck style. Everybody brings something. And then after the service, you all get together and you hang out, you talk, you enrich each other's lives, fill up each other's love buckets. And then off you go. Well, Adoria is at a friend's house in Port Stanley. So I got to go to Port Stanley to pick her up. But my tank is uh, past E with the orange light on. So anyways, I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to put gas in at $1.60 a liter. Oh, it's gonna, t it's 35 liters to fill my tank. Oh, at $1.60, I don't want to do it. I'm gonna go to the Indian village. At the Indian village, it's always minimum 25 cents to 30 cents a liter cheaper. So I'm like, ooh, it's kind of risky. I'm pulling a Seinfeld, trying to make it from East End Dundas in London all the way to the Indian village. I don't know. Okay, Jesus. I'll listen to some sermons. I know you'll protect me. I'll get there. Anyways, I drive there like 25 minutes past E. I pull in to the gas station. Who's there? My beautiful boy Christian. He's he's pumping gas at the at the um, gas tank or, or the gas uh, distributor, or whatever. Um, and he forgot his wallet. He's got no money. <laughs> so he's like, "Bog." That means. God, like God be with you. We always say bog to each other. And he's like, bog, what are you doing here? I'm like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh my gosh, mom, you wouldn't believe it. I just pulled in and I went to the uh, cashier and I'm like checking all my pockets. I got nothing, I got a nickel. The lady gave me $5. The cashier gave me $5 to put gas in the car because it's on E and I can't even get out of here. And then you roll up on me? I'm like, what? For real? Like, Christian, what's going on? I go, I hope you recognize that this is a God-ordained, blessed moment. God set this up like this. I came here at the exact precise time that you're here, and you got no money, and God sent me here. Come on. I love when God does stuff like that. That is so cool.